So I've been making this new space in my barn. I made the wood shop smaller to make this space bigger. And my plan is to cut a huge hole in the wall for a big double sliding barn door. So here we are in the hayloft of the barn, right above that room where the big cutout and barn doors are gonna go. To make that opening below, I need to put a header in up here above. This is a cross beam, and I'm gonna put a header of three two by 12s. There's my three two by 12s underneath that beam. Between the time that it takes me to cut out these posts and studs and the time it takes me to put in place that header, this end of the barn and this beam in particular is not being supported. So I have put in some supports. There's one, a post from the floor to the rafter beam, I'll call it. And here's another one, a post from the floor up to the rafter beam. I wanna take you below now and show you what's under each of these posts. If you remember the posts that I showed you upstairs, one of them is right on top of there, and that load will be transferred to this post. I've got something here called a tractor jack, and there is concrete cinder blocks underneath the floor, underneath that tractor jack. Same with over here, there is a block of uh, cinder blocks under that tractor jack. You may be able to figure out that there's a, a beam under the floor running that way and those cinder blocks support that beam. And here in the middle, I went under the barn floor and I made a pile of cinder blocks, about three cinder blocks high, I think. So the load is transferred all the way through the through that floor to the great solid mother earth it's it's fun to note that i have borrowed these three jacks from three different people they're all pretty heavy duty jacks we're going to try this in a couple minutes so up here in the hayloft again and i started to get nervous about this i mean when i cut this post off uh and and well this this is going to be flying and i got nervous about this over here here's a uh, a crack in the middle that's not so bad but here's a joint an actual joint in the beam when i cut this post this end is going to be flying and not only that the the thing that it's holding on is kind of weak so i got this idea and i'm going to call it a brilliant idea to take one of my 2 by 12 headers, here's, here's the other one right here, ready to go, and nail it across the top of the beam. Just temporary. I'm going to remove it later. But, and it's not nailed, it's screwed. Uh, two on each stud, all the way down. And that is going to stop this wall from, from sagging. It'll hold it in square. And and then I added another uh, hefty piece of lumber over there. Again, uh, screwed with uh, heavy duty screws on two on each stud. I put a piece of plywood in the middle. Why not? Three screws on each stud. It's going to stop. You can see I've done it on the other side too. This whole wall from potentially sagging for those few minutes between when I've got the post cut and when I've got the new header in place. So I don't know. I think I'm almost getting ready to cut the studs and the posts here, confident that my wall anti-racking system and my supports that go all the way to the rafters down to solid mother earth on both sides and in the middle under the floor. I'm kind of thinking that I'll be able to cut that section out and nothing will happen. My barn will stay standing. We're going to find out. Well, 
I took one of the studs out and the barn hasn't fallen down, so I'm gonna keep going. Can I just tell you how proud I am of this image right here? Look, it is all clear of studs and it has not sagged a cinch. Not a cinch. It's awesome. But I'm not gonna stand around and clap for myself. I think I should put the header in. It worked. It worked. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty excited to show you the finished product. Yeah, here is a three-ply, two-by-twelve header, and it's resting on that post and on that post and on that stud. It's all tightly shimmed, but during the time that I had to place the header, the span went from there whoops, kind of quick there, all the way to down here. And the beam held, and the wall didn't move at all. It's really great. So uh, I'm done with this project. On to the next.